Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. Welcome back to the Penetration Testing Bootcamp. In this video, we're going to be talking about the um, we're going to be talking about Nmap scans. Uh, more specifically, we're going to be talking about the Connect scans, or the TCP Connect scans, and then the Half Open SYN scans or Stealth scanning, as it's called. Right. So let's start off with your TCP Connect uh, or the Full Open scan. Right. So this scan, uh, the reason it it's actually called a TCP Connect scan, is because it uh, actually establishes a three-way connection. And the reason it does this is to give us a more accurate results when talking about service and operating system enumeration. And generally speaking, the accuracy of the of the information you're getting in regards to what ports are open, what ports are closed, so on and so forth. Now, of course, that uh, comes with uh, an additional or an added disadvantage. And that is that uh, the, these scans are typically very slow because you're going through, it's connecting to every port individually. So it's actually performing or establishing a TCP connection with every port. And when I say that, I mean the entire connection. So SYN, SYN ACK, uh, and then of course ACK, and then it resets it using the RST TCP flag, right? Um, and uh, when talking about the full open scan, of course, these scans based on um, based on the type of, of connection they're trying to establish with a particular port, these are very easily, uh, these are very easy to detect and prevent through firewalls, right? So. Uh, that's why you typically don't see this scan being used. But in, in the event, you're, there's really nothing pre preventing you from performing these scans. It's a very accurate way of getting results. And the way you run it is by typing in map ST, right? So that is your TCP connect scan. And then we type in the IP address. So 192.168.1.38. Now, in this case, I don't want to waste too much time with the scanning process. So I'll limit the ports to, I'll say, port 22 or port 21. And I'll limit the port to maybe something like, um, let's see, 8080, right? And uh, it's only going to scan for services or the ports between that range. So I can just hit enter. And we're going to let that scan run. And of course, this is going to take time because as I said, it's connecting to every port and it's establishing the three way handshake on every port. So I'm going to let this scan complete. All right, so the scan is complete and it went through the port range and it's given us the various ports and the services. Remember, we've not included service enumeration, which we can if you want to get more information regarding the services and of course, operating system enumeration. So in this case, you can see it, um, it actually gives us the ports and the, the services running. So there's nothing special there. It's just a more reliable scan because again, as I said, it completes the connection to it actually completes the TCP connection, right? Uh, the disadvantages, of course, as I've mentioned, is very slow. And number two is very easy to detect and prevent, uh, you know, through firewalls, so on and so forth. Uh, now let's talk about the interesting scan, which is uh, the one that many of you are probably familiar with, but really don't understand how it works and why it's so cool. And that is the stealth scan or the half open scan. All right, so the, the stealth scan is quite similar to the uh, to, to, to the TCP open scan or the TCP connect scan, sorry, in that you're actually going to establish a TCP connection, but you're going to just uh, cut it short before it the, the whole process is completed. So uh, what will happen is uh, you will send, uh, you being the, the host will send the target a SYN packet. And of course, uh, the, the target is then going to respond with the SYN ACK and then you will reset the connection. Now, what, what does this do? Well, this first of all reduces the scan time because all you're waiting for ideally is a response from the target. And that response helps you deduce whether the port is open, whether the port, whether that, that, that port has a service running, etc., etc. right? Now, if the port is open, uh, you will send a SYN packet and the target will respond with a SYN ACK. That's quite simple. If it's closed, you'll send a SYN packet. And if, if, it, if the port is closed, the, the target will respond with an RST, uh, with, with, the, with the packet with an RST header or the RST flag, sorry, in the header. So what's happening is, as I said, you just send a SYN. If it's open, it's said that the target sends a SYN ACK back. Um, and then, of course, you respond with an RST and you close it. Uh, if if in in the event the the port is closed, it it responds with their RST after your SYN or your initial synchronization packet is sent. So it's uh, fairly simple. Now, uh, again, as I said, one advantage of this is uh, is of course it's much much quicker, and secondly, it's able uh, you're able to avoid uh, firewalls or to evade firewalls rather. 
uh, and, and it really doesn't raise that much attention because you're not establishing a connection with all the ports. Now to run it, and as I said, most of you will already be familiar with it if you've been scanning various boxes on Hack the Box or on Vonlob, is nmap ss, right? So lowercase s and uh, uppercase s, and then you type in your, uh, your particular device here, and you will see that it's going to be much, much faster than the uh, the, the connect scan, the TCP connect scan. And this is the, the preferred way of running Nmap scans. So there we are. You can see that was extremely quick. I didn't even have to pause the video. And of course, you can then combine it with uh, with stuff like service uh, service version enumeration. And of course, that will take a bit uh, a bit more time, but it, it's, it'll give you um, much faster results based on, uh, on the amount of services and the port range that you have specified. So Again, I'll just wait for this. It shouldn't take too much time at all. Uh, but I, again, given that it's going through this, these, uh, it's going through all the services and uh, through the 1,000 ports, what I can do is I can just shorten the the scan period. Uh, and we will take a look at timing options with Nmap. For now, let's just stick to to actually the uh, let's stick to understanding the scan types. So um, I'm just going to enter, and we're going to run that, and we'll, we'll specify the port range. So that should run marginally faster so i'll wait for this to complete all right so uh, the scan is complete and as you can see we get uh, the same result just that we've filtered uh, or we've reduced the amount of ports that uh, nmap is going to scan with and um, we got the service versions right over here displayed so again microsoft uh, ftpd open 7.1 so on and so forth. Now, the cool thing about running Nmap scans, and if you're a student and you're trying to learn about Nmap and the various TCP uh, flags that are being sent and the, th the TCP through a handshake is, the, the cool thing is you can actually use a tool like Wireshark to analyze these packets and you can actually see all of these packets being sent. So well, what, what I'm gonna do is I have Wireshark open right over here, right? And um, I'm just gonna double click on my, on my capture device here and I'm gonna stop that, right? And the reason being is I'm going to start the scan. Uh, I'm going to start a, D, a very, very uh, light, uh, lightweight scan here. I'm just going to run a stealth scan. Well, let's, let, let, let's actually run a connect scan. And I'm just going to run this on port 21, right? Because I know port 21 is actually running on this particular Windows server. And uh, I want to actually capture the packets. And you'll actually be able to see this since this is a connect scan, you'll be able to see the SYN, SYN ACK, ACK and then of course RST or the reset flag being sent or the reset packet sorry so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start the capture now uh, continue without saving and I'm going to run the scan and there we are so you can see it did it very very quickly and I'm just going to stop that now and there shouldn't be too much data here so you can see it right over here uh, we have the initial SYN which is being sent from uh, my IP or the Kali IP address 192.168.1.51. The destination is the Windows server. Uh, so that is your SYN packet. You can analyze the, the contents of this. So again, this is sorted based on the, the various layers. So you have your frame, uh, your, your Ethernet frame. So again, if you if you've learned about the uh, the OSI model, uh, this will be quite simple for you. Then have so you have your uh, data link, uh, network, um, transport layer, so on and so forth. And uh, if we click on TCP here, uh, you can take a look at the source and destination ports and, and the various flags. But the, the flag here is a SYN flag. There you are. So you can see that right over here. And if we take a look at the options, um, I don't know whether I want to cover that right now because I'm not covering Wireshark until a later section. So uh, you can look at the flags for now. So that's your SYN flag, right? And then you have your, um, let's see, we have your SYNAC that's going to be sent back from the server. So that's 192.168.1.30. That's being sent back from Windows Server uh, back to my device. And again, I can click on the flag. You can see it's Synac and so on and so forth. So you guys, you, you can actually try this out yourself if you're trying to understand how this works. So we then have the ACK being sent uh, from Kali to the Windows Server. And then the final packet, which is the RST, as I mentioned, and that's being sent to terminate the connection. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run the stealth scan and we'll actually see the difference now. Right, and we're going to run it for the same port. And I'm just going to start a new capture here, continue without saving. And I'm going to run that scan and they'll run it very quickly. And I'll stop the capture. And there we are. All right, so let, 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 let's explore the, the, the results now. So um, we have only a few, we have ARP, a few ARP uh, packets here or requests rather, uh, which is pretty cool, but I'll get to that later. So we have our SYNAC, 
there we are. So sorry, we have our sin first that's being sent by Kali to the server. The server then responds with Synac and then we immediately terminate with our RST. And uh, let me just resize that back over here. And there we are, we can see the RST. So that resets the connection and the scan is much quicker as you can see than running a connect scan. So that's uh, that, that's how to differentiate between them in terms of the uh, in terms of the TCP flags that are being sent and how they are handled. So you're now starting to understand how Nmap utilizes TCP flags to to actually uh, to, to actually create these really really specialized uh, scans based on what you require. And uh, again, this will get really interesting when you're talking about firewall evasion and Nmap scripts and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions on the Hackersploit forum at forum.hackersploit.org uh, or in the comments section. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.